Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I hope your week so far is everything you thought it would be. And if not, I definitely hope that it gets better for you. I wanted to come to y'all with the video. So first up, thank you for coming back to watch another What Else Is Going On, aka We Go Podcast YouTube video. I'm your girl, Taria. It's been since Friday or Saturday, but baby, I'm back. So for those of you that follow the podcast, whether uh, visual on on Lord on Instagram, whether visual on YouTube or on, <clears throat> excuse me, anywhere you listen to your podcast. And normally an episode would drop today, but I had a special guest that I think you guys are going to like. So that will drop tomorrow. Um, but right now I just wanted to come to y'all and talk to y'all just about a couple Bravo things and just about a couple regular things. So let's get into it. First up, this is according to the Jasmine brand. 50 Cent admits he was offered $3 million to perform at controversial Trump rally at Madison Square Garden. Let's watch. I said they was trying to get everybody, wasn't they? Hold on. All right. Give you money to, to endorse him one time? I got a call, but they, they wanted me to, what's well, Sunday? Oh, they wanted you to come oh, yesterday. Oh, Madison Square Garden? This week. Yeah. They wanted you oh, yeah, because they wanted you to perform many men. They wanted you to perform many men at the RNC too, right? Yeah, and yeah. they still offered me $3 million. To perform? At the RNC or this past Sunday? Huh? At the no, this past Sunday. At past $3 million. Mm -hmm. And then they offered you money for the Republican National Convention too, right? Mm -hmm. You turned How it down? How much was that? Yeah, I didn't even go far back. I wasn't talking to them about that kind of stuff. I'm afraid of politics, bro. So you understand. <laughs> I do not like... <laughs> you don't like gang, no gang, gang, no gang bang or politics. No gang bang, no politics. You know, it's because when you do get in, involved in it, no matter how you feel, someone passionately disagrees with you. That's everything, yeah. though. I mean, politics no, is worse, but, but that's worse everything. Now, but that's the formula for the confusion that is sent Kanye to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said something about both of those things. And now he can only go to Japan. Is it true Donald Trump tried to give you money to, to endorse him one time? I got a So at the end, he said that's the formula as to why Kanye can only go to Japan. He said he said something about politics and something else. And now he can only go to Japan. But so he's saying that uh, Donald Trump's camp offered him three million dollars to make an appearance on this past Sunday the rally that uh, they had. Then they offered him, they had offered him money to perform at the RNC convention, but he didn't even get far in money discussion with them because he just wasn't going to do it. So he said that, um, give me one second. He mentioned, wait a minute. He said he doesn't get involved in politics. So I want to go over, because sometimes it's a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard to understand. I mean, we understand, but. He says, I'm afraid of politics. When you do get involved in it, no matter how you feel, someone passionately disagrees with you. And the other host said, well, that's with everything. And he said, yeah, but that's what got Kanye only being able to go to Japan. So I will say this. We could say a lot about 50, right? A lot about him trolling. But I will say he's been steadfast speaking on Diddy for years. Remember how he said Diddy was like, let me take you shopping. And he kind of like... Yo, I'm not with that. So he's been speaking out about Diddy for years. He stands on what he believes, I guess. And I'm so glad that he did not perform. So it makes you think. He They offered $53 million to perform at the past Sunday's rally. And they wanted him to perform at the RNC, but he said no. I wonder, so we definitely know, which we've been saying, it's about the money for Amber Rose. And it was about the money for, what's the girl's name? The one that got into it with her assistant, um, Anthony. Oh, my gosh. Sky, Alexis Sky, who was going to vote for Trump because he gave us those checks when actually it was Congress. But, but anyway, um, and then she said she changed her mind about because her and all her friends was voting for Trump. But then she changed her mind because of what he said about special needs. Anyway, what amount of money is he paying Amber Rose I know I've said it before and again and again, but the woman who came up with the slut walk, but who's okay endorsing a man who doesn't want women to have control over their bodies. Uh, but anyway, I wonder what amount they were being offered. I wonder what amount they pay Candace Owens, to be honest. 
shout out to 50 for not falling for the trap and um, taking it. Next up, make sure y'all go vote. Go vote. I did my early voting yesterday. So excited. Um, I know y'all have seen the video of the older black woman who's talking about how in the 1960s, I believe it was in Mississippi, there was a voting tax imposed black folks for $2. And then when you think about it, if it was a husband and wife, that was $4. Back then, that was a lot of money. Um, and that was done for a reason. And she said she had joy in her feet because she was going to vote that day. When people say, I'm not going to vote because my little vote doesn't matter. Imagine if 2 million people thought that. Because if you think like that, you might not be the only one. Imagine how that could affect the outcome if everybody votes. Use, let your voice, or let your vote be your voice. You can't just sit around and talk about all the things that's wrong with the country if you're not going to participate in the process. So let your vote be your voice, y'all. Please go out and vote. Um, next up, update on Liam. And this is so sad. So this according to page six. Liam Payne's security footage shows Star fainted before accidentally falling to his death. Argentine officials are in possession of security footage showing Liam Payne fainting before falling to his death from his hotel balcony, a local journalist claimed. Paula Varela said on Buenos Aires based TV station Canal 13 show, uh, Socios del Espectaculo that the video backs up the theory that Payne was unconscious before he accidentally fell from the third floor of Casa Sora Palermo Hotel on October 16th. <clears throat> there is footage that is not being released to the media with the balcony scene where you see that Liam faints and tragically because of where he is falls from that balcony, she claimed. If he had been beside his bed, he would have fallen on his bed. It's not that he jumped deliberately. This footage is in the official case file. Y'all, if this is true, this is so, so, so sad. Like, it just, it, it would have been avoided, you know, just, it's sad all around um, either way. But to know that he possibly could have fainted, they're saying that there's footage showing that he actually fainted and did not jump. <sighs> Man, it's just. And, you know, they said, again, he had pink cocaine in his system and pink cocaine doesn't always have cocaine in it, a mixture of other things. And he had other stuff um, <clears throat> in his system. Again, prayers up for Liam's family, his son, his friends. And I know I keep saying that, but I truly mean that, like everybody who loved him, because it's never easy, no matter how you lose them. It's never easy um, when you lose a loved one. Let's move on to some Bravo news. Now, this is according to Reality Blurb. Andy Cohen seemingly shades Bethany Frankel's reality reckoning. Plus, he talks RHOBH season 14, Monica's absence on Salt Lake City, and Rebecca Minkoff's Scientology background. Plus, if he'll drink during the New Year's Eve special. Andy Cohen addressed Bethany Frankel's reality reckoning. Um, everything we said, the upcoming season, Beverly Hills, Monica, Rebecca Minkoff's Scientology background, and if he's going to drink. Um, New Year's Eve. In the summer of 2023, Bethany called for a reality reckoning amid allegations that reality stars face unfair treatment from producers and the network. She also indicated that stars should unionize and get residuals. Speaking to Variety, Andy said he doesn't really think about the reality reckoning nowadays. My job is always focusing on making the shows that I produce. And as I said a year ago, and I'll say it now, I am so proud to partner with incredible production companies, said Andy. I'm proud of the systems that we had in place a year ago, and I'm proud of the systems that we have in place now that are built to look after people's mental health and also produced absolutely great television that people around the world love. He seemed to suggest that the negative comments are nonsense, and he addressed Bethany. I don't really pay attention. She's very active on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. The shade, honey. Teasing the upcoming season of Beverly Hills, Andy claimed it's a very good season and the castmates' lives have changed in pretty dramatic ways. He then addressed the absence of Monica in the new Salt Lake City. I think that the whole point of these shows is that they're ensemble shows and no one person is really greater than the group. Absolutely, last season was incredible and this season is incredible in a totally new way. You have to kind of trust the process and we had great casting this season. 
I mean, Bronwyn is a great addition to the mix. And I think from that first episode, you're like, oh, wow, this is forward moving. We're seeing a different Mary this season. By the way, we're still in the early stages of the season. So people are going to be really happy. He also claimed Mary has a really interesting personal story in future episodes and believes it will really touch people. As far as fans' reactions to Rebecca's Scientology background, Andy commented, I can't really judge people's reactions to Scientology, but I'll say that she's a well-known New Yorker and she's fun to have in the mix. He hinted, however, that castmates will question Rebecca more on the religion. It is something that recurs in the show, and I think that she made it clear on the first grilling how far she was really going to, and it doesn't look like she came on the show to preach about Scientology. So we'll see how that develops. Will Andy be drinking on the upcoming New Year's Eve live with Anderson Cooper? Yes, you bet. He answered following allegations that he drinks too much during the segment. After what Anderson did in that hurricane, I'm not only giving him tequila, I'm throwing it at him. Look, Anderson is funny on the New Year's Eve. So I guess they'll be up to their shenanigans. Um, with Andy recognizing how good Salt Lake City is, I wonder if the door may be closed for Monica coming back. Like <clears throat> the cast pretty much banded together to not have her film. They're having a great season. If it continues to be great, I wonder, will that give them even more power, if you will, if they decide, oh, we still don't want her to film? Like, how will that go? He said, Bethany is active on TikTok. I ain't on TikTok. Okay. Sort of like when he told, when he asked about Nene and he said, she told me to keep her name out her mouth. So I'm going to do as she wishes or something like that. 80s, 80. Andy's being a little shady, honey. So that's what he had to say about that. Also, let's get into Roni. Now, look, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Last week had me disgusted with the way Bryn was trying to police Uba's tone. And I, th not I think, seeing Brent in her confessional and say, after finding out that she said to Uba, Brent as a biracial woman, looking Uba, a black woman, in her face and saying, I don't want you to fall into the angry, angry stereotype because she wants Uba's boyfriend, Oliver, who is a white man, to marry her. Let me know that Brynn has been playing in faces and with respectability politics. But then what really got me is when she said in her confessional, I was trying to help you, you dumbass. I was like... And she said it with like a little neck roll, like, nah, boo, you don't know. No, no, no. That really pissed me off. And who's to say that that works? You're single. It ain't work for you, did it? Or does it not matter because you're white passing? So if you're angry, it's okay. Here's the thing about that emotion called anger. Everyone experiences it. So it's okay to be a black woman who is angry about something. That's perfectly okay. But to try to throw off Ubas as falling into a stereotype as an angry black woman, what stereotype are you falling into? Because I could think of a few. It, that disgusted me. And then to picture her as, who was it? Aaron or, or, or Uba said that Bryn put her hands on Uba's face and told her to use your words. Girl. And then tonight's episode, we're going to see her mocking Uba's accent. Just last season, at the reunion, she was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Uba, letting her know she puts people, what'd she say, in the grave? Told them ladies via text. I'm like carbon monoxide. You don't see me coming. She's deadly, I guess. But now you crying because Uba and Cy aren't babying you like Aaron, Jessel, and Jenna. They baby that girl. Ain't no way. 
So you all rough and tough with your almost Afro puffs. And you this and you that, but then you want to run crying when you get called out for the mess you stirred. But here's the thing. Uba and Sai in that kitchen at the end of the episode, for, y- for those of y'all that watch, y'all know, but for those of y'all that don't, basically Brynn is getting called out on the mess she's starting. And she did it at a dinner I think they were at, or breakfast, and Uba and Sai stayed in the kitchen and didn't play into Brynn crying all at the table while everybody else was babying her. And I was so here for it. So now let's get into what I wanted to talk to y'all about with Roni. This is according to Reality Blurb. Jessel Tank reveals filming on Roni season 15 was cut short due to cast fighting, denies plastic surgery rumors, and claims she hates Ozempic, plus talks harsh backlash, Rebecca Minkoff, and live viewing threat. So let's see. Let's get into this. Our season that is currently airing, we actually had to cut filming short, Jessel revealed during an October 28th interview with Hey You Social. Someone got put on a plane and someone got shipped to a hotel. We had to like separate and they couldn't film anymore. I wonder if they're talking about Uba and Bryn. Because remember how the season opened up. Following the premiere episode of season 15 earlier this month, Jessel faced rumors of having had work done, which she denied during a separate interview. I think that when you're in reality TV, it's natural to be like, oh, she got plastic surgery or she did this or she's on Ozempic. Jessel told Us Weekly on October 27th, I actually effing hate Ozempic. I would never put needles in myself. I think it's just the natural reaction to people who make positive change physical, physically or otherwise. Although Jessel admitted it can be hard receiving backlash from viewers, she's learned not to let it bother her. Obviously, social media and that sort of wave of overwhelming feedback, it can be quite harsh at times, but I learned to block it out. And I actually think these people are really funny because of some of the stuff they say is so insane. Now I actually just laugh at the comments and I read all of them and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry that you're so sad. While Jessel is only in her second season of Roni, fans have applauded her sense of humor. I think it's because I'm funny and who doesn't want someone who's funny? I also do think, and by the way, I bring the looks. Funny and fashion has always been my thing. As for newbies, Rebecca and Raquel Chevremont, Jessel said, Rebecca's a dear friend. She's a good person. What about Raquel? Child, they had to stop filming because the girls was fi- the girls were fighting. They had to stop filming early. It is way too early for a cast to not like each other like that. This is y'all's second season. If y'all want to stay in this housewife thing, like, girl. Y'all watching, Roni? If y'all do what y'all think. I'm going to do my due diligence and watch tonight, y'all. I'm going to do my due diligence and watch. Do y'all let me know what y'all think about Roni, about the things that Jessel said. Do y'all think it was Uba and Aaron, um, Uba and Bryn based on how the beginning of the season opened up? with all of them shooting their cast intro photo and people worried about Uba and Brim. Um, Also, let me know what y'all think about Andy and some of his comments, um, Leon Payne and what allegedly is on tape and what y'all think about 50 Cent saying that he did not perform and he's afraid to talk politics because no matter how you think, someone's going to passionately disagree with you. 50. When you be trolling, No matter what way, sometimes people passionately disagree with you. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. I will talk to y'all later. See ya.